It can be really difficult to keep a clear picture of what's happening in your life at any one moment. It's one thing to be on top of current projects and ideas that you're working on. It's a totally different thing to be able to have a clear picture of potential future work and projects you might want to work on, long-term goals, but even those like personal bucket list items that you know you want to get around to one day, but don't fit naturally into a, a to-do list with a due date. So how do we keep track of those future things, those wider perspectives, um, without letting them become forgotten? Well, when it comes to getting things done, uh, I think that this weekly review system that I've created in Notion is the answer. It's based on David Allen's brilliant ideas, uh, and I'm gonna show you how to build it today. In Notion, fully automated. Sounds amazing. Now, that involves a little bit of coding. Uh, coding? Artists? What? Are you alright, Simon? Are you going to be okay? I think I'll be fine. Let's have a go at it. My shoulders are hurting me at the moment. I'm holding a camera all day and filming something. Uh, and it's great, but a oh, little bit painful. Hello, I'm Simon. This is Better Creating. If you've not been here before, um, what I'm trying to do here is simplify creative life. So um, this is all about helping you and me make better content, uh, create more meaningful work, whatever it is we're up to, whilst hopefully living more productive, stress-free lives in the process. Um, if you're not subscribed, the best thing you can do is hit that subscribe button. It's free. It just means my videos pop up in your feed. Uh, we stay connected, which is fantastic, uh, and you're also brilliantly helping me grow this channel and get these videos out there to more people. So a little bit of, you know, community love going on there. It's good. Now, it's the beginning of the week, so it's time for my weekly review where I look over all of the projects and things and life ideas and things that I'm looking at in my Notion system to get clear and clean, ready to carry on with the week. Now, this video builds on my previous video called How to Manage Your Time Better context is everything. That video shows you how to step-by-step -step build a task and project management system in Notion, basically an automated to-do list. Um, and this, I'm building it in the same system, so it's kind of a follow-on. So check that out if you haven't, and come straight back here. Right, let's get on with this stage. Number one is, really simply, let's just talk about the weekly review, the concepts that David Allen is introducing, and how those principles can inform your thinking to make one of these. Um, it's the most important part. Number two, a quick tour of my actual system and my review working in Notion so you can see it. And then finally, we'll crack on and we will build it step by step in part three. So it automates and reminds you what you need to see, when you need to see it. Then all you're gonna need is a couple of good habits to make this work. Let's do it. It's probably true that most of us feel best about our work in the week before we go on holiday. Now why is that? Well, I think it's because we clean up, close up, and make sure that we can leave our work sitting in a place that allows us to go away and truly switch off, relax, and be present in our downtime. Or wouldn't it be great if we could attain the same clarity and calmness that we have on that first day of holiday, or at least I hope we do, that's what we aim for, every single week? Well, that's what getting things done puts to us so that, as Alan suggests, you can bring this kind of being present to your everyday life. The weekly review is the, t is the time that I take to get clear and focused on the wider picture of my life. It's the thing that David Allen says is the time to gather and process all your stuff, um, review your system, update your lists, get clean, clear, current and complete, quite hard to say, um, on everything that's going on. Now, if that's not simplifying creativity and productivity, I don't know what is. Thanks, David Allen. So the reason we do it is simply, if you review your system and your thoughts regularly, it stops your mind from going back to taking responsibility for remembering and looking after um, the big picture. And if you don't do that, if you don't build that second brain, uh, I find, that I trust and that system that helps you, it means that we're constantly doing that and not allowing ourselves the space to have ideas, to take action, rather we're trying to juggle all the different concerns and our minds just aren't built to do that. Right, let's take a look at my dashboard um, and how the weekly review sits into it. Here's my main home screen, the one I use every day. Um, you'll see on the dashboard, at the bottom, we have needs review. It's an image of the project list 
and you'll see it has a last review, when it was last reviewed, and next review, when it's due. So I last looked at these on the date that I put in when I did it, which is the 5th of October or September the 28th, as you can set that. Next review is when it's due, and you'll see Monday the 12th of October is due this week. Above, you'll see all my task lists that we build in the other system. So um, again, tasks that are due, filtered to the next seven days, due today or overdue, flag priorities, and an inbox for putting my tasks in. Now, if I go over to the system over here on this side and click on projects, which is the main database of the project, here are all the projects with the tasks that link up to them. I want you to look at this section here, if we zoom in on that. Um, you'll see uh, the review frequency, uh, that's what this is, let's just show you that a little bit more clearly. Review frequency is every seven days, every 14 days, every three days, whatever you want to set it as. Last review, when it was last looked at. Next review, when you want it to, uh, when it's going to be due, based on today, the date, uh, and uh, the review, uh, if the review is overdue or not. These are all formulas. And that is what I want to show you how to program today. Now, the reason this is so helpful to be in this database is that when we go back to the home screen and we look back at this section, it makes this usable, it makes it functional. You'll see that not all of that information is there, I've hidden it. And this will mean that when anything is due, it goes past its due date for review, I will then see this pop up in this list. Let me give you an example. Uh, personal life. I can put all the tasks in there, filter that down just by that um, project so I can review it within the project page. When it's finished, either up the top here on last review or back in the list, I can edit it to say I reviewed that today, click on it and then when I go back to the page you'll see personal life has disappeared from the list. Fantastic. Let's go and make it. Speaking of balancing and managing projects, I'm now going to run off uh, and film for a freelance project. I'll be back in two seconds for you guys. It'll probably be the evening. I did this on the last video. I'm fitting things in creatively around freelance work. You've got to earn a living somehow. It'll probably be the office because it's a shared space, you know? Okay, I'm back uh, from rehearsals and filming. I've set up uh, the lighting, a bit of moodiness this evening in the office. Uh, let's get on and build this system. So, here is my personal home uh, that we built in the previous video. So you can check all of that out if you want to do that um, in the other video. Let's go into it. So, what we're gonna do to start with to build uh, this system is I'm just gonna, in the dashboard down here, set up where I want it to appear. So I'm going to click here. I'm gonna do forward slash heading two the option basically it's a shortcut uh, I'm gonna put in needs review there we go that is the next thing we're going to click on this little thing and um, again it's all about how it looks for me it makes a big difference I'm gonna give it a nice purple color there we go there's that section that is where we're gonna put a copy of the project list um, and in fact uh, why don't we do that first of all so we know that it's going to link to it so this is my project list over here in the system uh, so I'm going to do forward slash create linked database. It's always a brilliant button to use. Uh, we'll click on that. Uh, we're going to find the project database. You can search for it. Project list, there it is. Click on it and it will turn up. Okay. Now, at the moment, you can see uh, in, from the previous video all the things I put in. So the projects I've got a personal life. Uh, personal life, some film shoot with Erica uh, and a bucket list, but there it is. Um, we'll filter this in a little while, but there you go, that's how easy it is to set it up on the dashboard. At the moment though, it's just a view of the projects list. Next, let's program it. So we're going to go into projects list. There it is, we built this in the previous video, and we're going to need to add some columns. So now let's build uh, the um, formulas and systems to get this to filter uh, our projects so that we can review them in the dashboard. So the first thing we're going to need is really really simple. We're just going to add um, a date column, okay? So we're going to go in column, we're going to click on date, make it a date, and we're going to call this column um, last review. So this is the this is the column that you're going to use to update uh, when you last reviewed um, a project. Next column, you need to know what today is first of all, okay? So really, really simply, 
we don't know what today is, we're not able to program the formulas here in order to know um, when things are being reviewed, right? Based on the dates that you're saying you last reviewed them. So we just need to put that into the database as a kind of basic function. So we're going to click add, add another column. This one is going to, this is where it gets exciting. We're going to add an advanced thing, a formula, okay? So we're going to click on formula. This is probably the easiest one. We're going to call this one today in the title. Just oh, spell it right. Toadie, that's not right. Some character from uh, an old sitcom in Australia, if you've heard of that. Right, today, there we are. And if you just click on one of the boxes here um, on any of the projects, it will allow you to type in formulas, okay? Now, you can do lots of things in here. I'm not going to go into too much detail. All we're going to do is we're going to write now open brackets, close brackets. So it's basically saying that I want to put into this box now. Yeah, today's date, I'm gonna click done. That means that whatever time it is in your Notion system, it will turn up there and it gives us a reference point. Brilliant. Next column, okay. Now we're gonna need a review frequency, okay? This is basically how frequently you're gonna to want to um, review your projects. So it might be every, it's in days we're gonna do it. It might be in three days, seven days, um, every two weeks, every month, whatever you want it to be. You can set that and you can change that as you go. So we're gonna call this um, is review frequency. And this is just gonna be a number file. It's really simple. So we're just gonna go in, click number. Now, for example, my personal life, I might say I wanna review that every week, every seven days. Shoot it very quick, it's happening a lot at the moment, for example, it's not a real thing, but I'm pretending. Uh, I'm gonna say that's every three days, and my bucket list, uh, that's a much wider thing, right? And I just wanna kind of every now and then check in with that. So I might do that, let's say, every 20 days. In here, I'm gonna put my last review. Let's say that um, I last reviewed on the fifth. Yeah, I'm gonna put this one in here, and we're gonna say that was also the fifth. Next, this is where it gets really good. We're gonna add another um, column, and this column is gonna be called um, next review. You're gonna make it a formula. And this is where it gets quite advanced. Now, I'm not gonna go into loads of detail on code because to be honest with you, I don't know loads about it. But what I can say is how this one works. So let me talk you through it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do um, a date add. So you're gonna put date, and there it is, date add. We're gonna click on it. Date add, you have to have a date a number and some text, and that's gonna be how this sits together. Um, we wanna put a number, so we're gonna put, first of all, the last review, comma, uh, then we're gonna put the review frequency, uh, and then we're gonna put in days. There's the brackets, oh, we missed a comma, didn't we? There you go, put the comma in, and, and you'll see how interesting. Seven days after the fifth is the twelfth. Three days after the 5th is the 8th. Uh, 20 days after the 28th of September is the 18th of October. It works, how brilliant. Finally, we want a way to filter this. And the last thing we wanna put in is one more column. And in that column, we want to place a checklist, okay? But it's gonna be a checklist done by formula. Feels a bit unusual. So we're gonna click onto here, another formula, okay? Into here. Uh, this one is review overdue. So I want this one to tell me if um, review is overdue um, and therefore all of those will be ticked and it will mean that they'll appear in uh, the filter dashboard when we do it. So the formula for that is very, very simple. Uh, basically, I want it to be that the reviewer is greater than today. We're going to do a proposition, okay? Uh, and the proposition is going to be next review. And we want to do a greater than sign. It's smaller than, sorry. Um, the proposition of today okay done we have a checklist rather cool two of them have been checked because uh, these are overdue yeah it's, it's past review frequency this one is fine let's go back to personal home but I think you'll see they're all there they are all there so we need to filter this and this is really simple we go to review overdue we're gonna click on it we may have done this before we're going to add a filter and where we're gonna do where review is um, ticked, yeah, and set that as our filter. And now you'll see that when it's overdue, it shows up. Now, that's it. 
it's a little bit messy at the moment, so I want to filter this down to make it look better and just work out what information I actually need. So I can click on the little um, dots here, go to properties and just hide anything we don't need. So last review and next review are useful to have. I don't really need to see files. I don't need to see how it's related to the bibliography of inspiration. This is all stuff we did in the previous video. I don't need to see um, related to the task list. I don't need to see review frequency really because I'm setting that in there, but you could have it. Review overdue, I don't need to see it. It just needs to work, and I don't need to see today because it just needs to work. There we go. So, look at that, much cleaner, much easier to see. And that's how it works. So all I should really now need to do is click onto um, personal life, yeah, and do the reviewing. Click on last review. If I set the um, that I reviewed it on Monday, it disappears. Okay, I just want to show you very quickly how to um, set up your um, projects so they're a little bit easier to review by creating a template for them. If you look in one of mine, let, let's look at minimize and organize, there's not much in it I don't think, but there it is. Uh, now yeah, you can see this is a template, it's pretty simple, uh, but it has a description, minimizing and organizing my stuff. Um, it has the current tasks and you'll see this is a, um, a mirror of the original task database um, and some notes, as simple as that. And I just created this template, yeah, uh, simply by uh, going to new, clicking the little button, and you can click new template. Okay, but you'll see my new task thing. Let's just go back out and I'll show you what it actually looks like when it's done. You'll see it's set up as a template with the task, the description, and everything. So every time I do this, I have this set up ready to work. Um, now you'll notice this is the cool bit that's in the template, and this is really simple. It is, um, I'll just do it again in here for you so you can see what it is. It, you do forward slash create link database, and you're going to filter. Um, the related project, add a filter, um, and where it contains untitled. And by doing that, you are essentially saying that this template should have where it contains whatever you call this file, yeah? So it will mean that only um, projects for this template, which is named, will turn up within it. Well, it means you never have to put it in again. And so if we just go into Minimize and Organize as an example, you'll see current tasks. This is probably filtered by where related contains minimize and organize. Now, the other thing you might want to do is filter it so that done is not checked. So it means that only uh, tasks that aren't complete will turn up there. So those are the two things I would put into your uh, template and you've got yourself um, a really brilliant project management system. Good luck. If you found this valuable, make sure you hit that like button, uh, comment below, that's always good to hear from you. Um, but most importantly, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, it means my videos pop up in your feed, we stay connected, it's free, and it's the best thing you can do in order to you know, support the channel and help it grow. So thank you, all of you, for um, joining me on this little journey I'm going on. Now, it's getting late for me. Uh, I've got another big day's filming ahead tomorrow. I'm feeling very blessed about that, but it all ends on Friday and I'm back to having not very much work coming in as at the moment a lot of us are finding. So um, I hope you're doing all right. I hope you're looking after yourself. Um, let me know what else I can do for you on this channel. It's what it's about, you know, helping us live better lives. So uh, yeah, um, see you on the next video.